Hey everybody, real quick before we get into this video, I just wanted to quickly say that the Great Lego Migration will be a series of probably six, maybe seven videos. Um, and But I just wanted to say that those will be the next few videos that are coming uh, in the foreseeable weeks. And there's a couple things. One, I need to get all of my parts down here and recording that journey is important to me because I do want to document it. And I think it's helpful and interesting to some people, um, but it will be the next few videos that are coming. And the, so the first reason is I do need to get all the parts down here. And so like that has to happen. And two, I just haven't had time outside of streaming and doing all of that organization and and moving everything down here to really focus on doing any like real building or doing some more like... I don't know, reviews or Lego hauls or cleaning, you know, any types of other videos that we were doing. I just don't have a lot of time for that right now. Once we get through the Great Lego Migration, then we can start to do some more of the building videos that I have in mind and look at some mocks and maybe build some of our own stuff and start working on the medieval village that I want to do here and all of that kind of stuff. So thank you so much uh, for watching and enjoy the video. Hey everybody, it's Jim with Triple J Bricks. Welcome back to another video. Today is part two of the Great Lego Migration. Today we're gonna look at smaller plate, meaning two by plate. We might get into some one by plate, but I doubt it because I have quite a bit to show you. Um, I have worked on a little bit of the two by plate and I also finished up all of the wedge plate. Those are in bins, um, but let's take a look. In case you missed part one of the series, you can check it out right up here. Am I looking in the right Right here. Okay, first thing is I have used most of the bins, except I use a lot of the larger bins and I haven't used a lot of these small ones yet, but I think we'll probably get to more parts that will use the small ones, so I'm not really concerned about it. I just got the next sort of shipment in, so I do have the larger ones. I've used a ton of these longer. I think these are like maybe nine inches long. I've used a bunch of these, so I have another pack ready to go, so we'll be able to do some more of the two by plate. But so far, I have done, and I'll show you this when I head back downstairs. Um, so far, I have done most of the longer two by plate, these are all extra threes and fours, but I need to do the black yet. And then I need to do the tan and brown. And then I guess I have some red in here too. And then colors. Do I have, where's this red plate? Is this all my red plate? I think these are all my longer. See, this is what I, this is the problem. I don't remember what I have and how I have it. So let's just kind of take a look at what we have for plate so far. Okay, so here's where we're at. So I finished filling drawer two. This is now the wedge plate, some in white gray, dark gray, black. And then I go tans, different tan colors, so I don't have a ton of those. Reds, blues, and then greens. I picked up a ton of these at the pab wall. I don't know exactly what I can use these for, but um, I have those available. And then down here is the colored large plate. Um, so I finished off these in the last video. Uh, and then I have a bag here of larger, like thicker base plates or thicker plate and then the larger 16. I think I'm gonna take these out of the bag though. Um, but I have that. And then here is where I started the two by plate and wedge plate. So essentially I'm gonna be using like three, actually pretty much four drawers for two by plate or so for plate essentially. I don't know if that's useful or effective. Like I might need to consolidate further, but the, the problem is, is some of this wedge plate. So wedge plates comes in, they come in so many different sizes and shapes that I felt like I had to have a couple different bins for the different types of wedge plate, right? So I have white all in one bin because there just wasn't that many of the white. 
But then like gray, you know, like in bulk Lego lots, you get a lot of gray parts because you probably get a lot of Star Wars sets and uh, ships and all that kind of stuff. Like they all use a lot of gray wedge plate. So that is what I'm gonna probably getting most of um, in terms of the parts. So I have the smaller wedge plates and then like different shapes here and then the medium wedge plates, I guess, and then larger. I don't know. I, I, this this doesn't feel. It looks good. I just don't know if this is its final form or if I need to sacrifice some stuff and break it down. Uh, I don't know. Or combine it. I'm not really sure. Um, this is where it's starting to get a little messy in my head. But then I did the same thing with black, and then this is where I started the large two by plate. So. Two by six, two by eight, tens, twelve. Is this twelve? Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, and then long above twelve, basically. And then I did the same thing for dark gray, white. I didn't have as much of, so those are only in two bins. This is all like modified plate, like these. Again, these come a lot in like Star Wars sets and things like that for ship building, for like spaceship stuff. Um, and then I have blue, red and greens, yellows. Yeah, not again, not really sure how I feel about that, but this takes up almost an entire drawer just by itself. So I'm not sure if I want to do another full drawer or if I need to start making some compromises on how this gets laid out. Because again, like the, the issue that I'm having is that my organization brain wants all of this stuff to be like this. But then I also have to have like my practical brain, which is like, am I really going to have to have these in multiple bins because I'm going to be sifting through these as much? That's the question, right? Like I could put all of these in a large bin and that would take up the space. And then I'd, I don't know. I mean, I guess it would take up the same amount of space. I'm literally talking through this. I'm just brain dumping as I record this because I just don't quite know exactly how I want to do it, right? I, again, I want it all sorted as best as possible and down to the easiest way to find it as possible. But at the same time, I also have to be realistic about space, right? Like I, I only have, there's these 12 drawers and then there's these 12 drawers. Now, it looks like a lot, but if I'm gonna be continuing to do it like this, I'm gonna use up those drawers really fast. So, it's a scaling issue at this point, and I don't know exactly how I wanna do it. Okay, we're back upstairs, and again, I have the black plate remaining, the red, and the brown and tan, and I have to do the same thing with these as I did with the other ones. I just feel like I'm blowing through containers. But again, I'm, I'm literally talking this through as I record it, which is maybe a problem. Um, but I wanna like, I don't know. I want you to know where my head is at and I don't know where my head is at. So I'm gonna just put these in bins and then we're gonna see where we end up on the other side. Okay, so here's what we got. I have, well, I should move these over. So I have two by six, two by eight, 10, 12, and longer. I just, I think they have to almost be in three bins. It's like that, what I showed you downstairs. And I think that's how it has to be at least for now. I did have a lot of this two by six plate and so I put a sticky note on it and I have it in a bag here and that will go into a bin down the road. So I might end up doing the brown and tan in the same bin. Um, I do have a lot of this red. There was like a, one of the bulk lots that I had had like a lot of like Ferrari sets or something. I think it was Ferrari sets, and there was a ton, a ton of red plate. Um, so I have kind of an obscene amount of that right now that I don't know if I'll ever use. But anyway, um, I'll have to do something with that. And then I still have the rest 
of the color plate as well that I have to do. And then we still have to tackle all the excess four, two by four, like a lot of light gray. These are modified, modified, so still a lot to do. Okay, back downstairs. So we have now in this drawer, third drawer down, we now have all gray, white, black plate. So, well, two by plate and wedge, small wedge. I guess all wedge plate is down here. This is all like gray scale plate. Okay, and then in drawer four is color and browns wedge and two by. <laughs> so I think that's the best way to do it. I had some of the brown up here, but then I went through and I did the two by threes and the two by fours in gray and dark gray because the 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 black light gray and dark gray that is what i had the most of in terms of the two by three two by four plate and uh, this is actually overflowing a little bit i might end up taking some of this out and put it into a bag and throw a sticky note on that okay two by four plate is done ish uh i've basically sorted them all out into colors i've introduced several colors in the same one like i put like the bright yellow with the yellows i uh, i just need to make a decision on what else is going to get combined because i feel like this is just too many bins um dedicated to specific colors um again i have like the different types of blue like the, the dark and light azure and all those things um blues i have a ton of reds but like again i might combine the reds with oranges or like the dark red you know the dark greens with the different color greens because again they're all two by four plates so i think it might be okay to just sort of mix and match some of these colors because again there's not really that much of them and i also have to consider this is all of the bulk lego plus my old collection in one place, right? So that's, I have to consider how much Lego I have to process yet. <laughs> All those boxes, plus a few more, uh, and how much more I'm gonna get. So yeah, do a little future proofing, but also consider kind of where we're at already and then just bag the access. So I think I'm gonna do a lot more of the small bins for the two by four and also probably do more small bins for the two by two and two by three yet. So make a progress. We have done a little bit of drawer reorg. So drawer three is a little different. I got every single, well, it's not actually that different, but um, I have now gotten every single two by white, light gray, dark gray, black plate, except for some like overstock basically into one drawer. And then I basically just combined a couple cause I couldn't fit everything in here. I have like space for one more like single. So I guess we could do something with that, but I basically combined the black, dark gray and light gray wedge plates into more or into less bins um, because I just figured like I have to be realistic about how often I'm going to be looking for those and I just don't think it's going to be that often so I could even probably combine this one into here but anyway so all of that plate is now in one drawer and the color plate all of the two by color plate and also the colored wedge are all in this drawer. It's a very festive looking drawer. I could probably do a little bit more uh, reorging of some of the stuff. It's not always following the same rule, which I could change. Like I have greens and yellows in here, but then I have yellows and reds 
in the two by sixes. So it's it could do with some reorg. Again, I have a couple spots here that I could do something different with, but essentially this is all of my two by color plate and wedge. So I think we're on our way. I feel I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good. That's four drawers essentially for plate, which is a lot. I don't know. Again, like I'm trying to figure out how to do all of this in an effective way. Um, I don't know. We'll have to see as we continue on. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for this second episode, part two of the great Lego migration. Uh, that is two by plate. So I'm hoping that the next one will probably be one by plate and we're going to have to figure that out. But now we're starting to get down to some of the smaller parts. So I'm not exactly sure how that's going to go. So I don't know what that's going to be just yet. And then we're going to have to start moving into brick and um, moving all that down here. And then we'll start to get into more specialty parts like slopes and things. And that should be uh, a journey in and of itself to try to organize that as best as possible. But thank you so much for coming with me on this journey. I honestly really do love the sorting and organization part of this hobby. It just tickles something in the brain that is so, so fun. So I hope that you find this useful. I hope that it uh, is, I don't know, a fun adventure for you to go on with me as well as we start to migrate all of our parts down here into the new studio. And I really, really look forward to, to doing more of them. So thank you again, everybody. And remember until next time, keep on building. Jim out.